Good morning. I'm Carlo Giannotti. And I'm Pat Capello. And welcome to the 6th Annual Holiday Magic Parade right downtown here in Royal Oak. We have thousands of people here. The restaurants are still open. The, uh, the, the crowds are vibrating. And uh, there's still plenty of time to get a kickoff on your holiday shopping. Pat, you uh There's a today? real air of excitement here, Carlo, that this is Santa's first stop his official first stop, and everyone is ready to kick off the holiday season and come to downtown Royal Oak. This joint is jumping. It really is. I think there's 37,410 people here we counted. Is that about right? About, approximately. Okay. Well, this is Santa Claus' first stop, and this is the largest. It's growing up to be one of the largest parades in southeast Michigan, in all of Michigan. I think uh, this parade, we have 57 units this, this year, which is phenomenal I think we have people from all over the place and there's a wide range of interest among the units they range from uh, unicycle club to Arabian horses to the K bar Fay um, there's something here for everyone and it's truly international this time we have uh, some horses and we've got the uh, mounted police I think from from Canada right we have the river and the Canadian cowboy cowgirl unit Okay, well, in just a few minutes, we're going to get started, and I, uh, again, welcome you all to the uh, Holiday Magic Parade, and I can't wait for what we have in store today. Sit back and enjoy the show. Pat, uh, what I see here is a bunch of sirens, and uh, I'm looking at some flashing lights, and this is the official beginning of the 6th Annual Holiday Magic Parade, and I think the two clowns there, we're looking at uh, Patty Cake and Flapjack. Right, and they are marshals for a uh, police squad car, one of our, and Royal Oak's finest in the fire engine and an ambulance, two fire engines and an ambulance. You can't have a parade without lots of uh, flashing lights and, and sirens, and of course, this being uh, one of the most popular parades in Michigan, we're not outdone. Gets everyone in the mood. <laughs> I haven't seen this many sirens since uh, last weekend over at my house. <laughs> well, I love parades. How about you, Pat? Oh, I absolutely adore parades. Even the birds adore parades. They're flying over. Everybody wave hello. There you go. Let's stand back a little bit and look at some of these uh, men and women, the fire department, the police department, who do a fine job, not only on parade day, but they uh, they help us out throughout the year, I would, I would imagine. They're very brave men and women. They put themselves in harm's way to protect the citizens of Royal Oak. Yes. Well, boy, I'll tell you, we are underway with the parade. You can feel the excitement in the air. Isn't that brontosaurus beautiful? That is brontosaurus. That... <laughs> the, big, the big fire truck, Carlo. The big fire truck, yes. <laughs> it's got that ladder thingy on the back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what I love about it, it's got those big, wide legs that swing out to, for stability. Now, Pat, I can't tell if that's patty cake or flapjack. Do you have any idea? I... I'm sorry to say I do not. Sometimes the clowns all look alike to me. Now, uh, okay. Here we go. I think this is the. Uh, the well, Royal it's a great day here. today for a parade. It is a beautiful day for. A little a on the cool side, but you can see everyone has dressed for it. Everybody's bundled up. Look at these guys out here. Everybody's bundled up. Right. We've got men and women and children, children and of all lots ages. of pets. Lots of dogs on the street of Royal Oak. This little one uh, looks pretty warm. I don't think he's complaining. <laughs> Look at the crowds out here today, Pat. Oh yeah. You know what's nice about this year is, remember when we were doing this last year, the building across the street was under construction? Yes. And we had construction workers watching the parade from probably the best seat in the house. And now we've got people buying the condos down here, and they have the best seat in the house. Oh, yeah. Well, I think the people sitting on the curb probably wouldn't complain. Very exciting place to be today. It is. It's a very, look at this. Look at that. that is beautiful, isn't it? I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you get your condo yet? You, you have the uh, I can't make up my mind between the penthouse and 
the next floor down. So it, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm just indecisive. Well, back to the parade, I think we have here the Royal Oak Honor Guard. This is uh, always an amazing thing to watch. The uh, Royal Oak uh, Police and Fire Honor Guard, uh, they are the first unit, second unit after the parade. That's uh, Sergeant Don Morris has coordinated the Honor Guard this year with uh, local 431 in their uh, dress blues. Pat, I know that you know that after 9-11, um, they organized this uh, to honor our everyday heroes. And a great job they do. And that's who they are. They're our everyday heroes. They're there for us no matter what. And uh, here come some of the big wigs from the uh, Downtown Development Association. Of course, the Downtown Development Association is a major, major sponsor of this uh, Holiday Magic Parade. We have some of the dignitaries. I see... Uh, I see Kevin Kalsinski. Yes, and I think I see uh, Andre uh, Tomkew coming up in the blue car. Luigi Catraro, Bill yeah. Harrison. I see Jim Demansky in the red scarf. I see uh, Tom Lewis and Shirley Smith and their families, of course. And then, as always, as I've said before, we've got Andre Tomkew. He's a board member on the DD DDA. In his classic car. Classic car. 1948 Buick Roadmaster, I think. I'm just taking a lucky guess. That's a beautiful car, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. I used to have one like that, I think. Pat, usually, uh, as you know, the DDA works year-round to promote, maintain, and uh, develop downtown Royal Oak. Their efforts have made it the most popular destination for shopping, dining, and, uh, and now living downtown. It's the epitome of a modern city. You know, the great thing about Royal Oak... Uh, is uh, we have a downtown and that other cities, they just try to emulate, but uh, so far they've fallen short. <laughs> we have a personality of our own, don't we? <laughs> we sure do. And here comes the K-Bar Fay, the Scottish bagpipe band of Royal Oak, 25 members strong. It's dedicated to continuing the Scottish culture and the great Highland bagpipes. It took second place this year in the grade five March medley in the St. Andrews Highland Games. How about if we sit back and listen to these uh, men and women? Love a bag fight. walking flag carried by Cub Scout parents and Royal Oak veterans. This has got to be one of the largest flags uh, on the continental United States. It's beautiful. Absolutely magnificent. It says here that the measurements are 30 by 60, but i got to believe it's at least twice that. It's a big one. It's carried, as you said, by the uh, Scouts and their parents from uh, Cub Scout Pack 1604, Jane Adams Elementary School, right here in Royal Oak. And of course, the Royal Oak veterans from the VFW Acorn Post, 1669. Look at all the happy faces out there. It's hard not to be patriotic when you see a flag that large. Sponsor of that flag, by the way, was the City of Royal Oak. Again, the Downtown Development Association. Look at the smiling faces, Pat. Oh, yeah. Cub Scout uh, 1627 from uh, Keller. They all look like they're having a great time. They here they here comes our dignitary carriage. Well, some of the dignitaries, of course, because uh, you and I are on this side of the uh, <laughs> camera. <laughs> yes, yes, but the important people That's are true. over there. Okay, well, now that you've made that known, the important <laughs> people. Riding in the carriage, yes, it's a beautiful carriage. Although, although it looks like um, most everyone is walking. That's a good sign to see politicians, public servants walking. 
This is, of course, the horse-drawn carriage with the, uh, the elected officials and some of the dignitaries. Right in front is our esteemed mayor, Jim Ellison, and his lovely wife, Jody. And congratulations to you, Mr. Mayor. And uh, there's Gary Lolito. City commissioner. And we have Marie Donegan. And her and husband. Yes, her husband, Kevin. Kevin McLogan. He's the uh, school, he's the, uh, uh, it's on the school board, of course. Joining our mayor and uh, the other members of our commission and Marie Donegan, we have uh, Congressman uh, Joe Nolenberg and an entourage of family and friends. Congressman Nolenberg is always at these and it's always a pleasure to see him, I'll tell you. And right yes. behind him, I see State Senator John Papa George. Right. It's good to have the senator here as well. And here he comes over. He's that guy with a big old man supporting the state senator. You can hear Senator in the background, Senator Papa George in the background. Right behind him is the Oakland County Sheriff Mounted Division, established in 1948. This division establishes the parks unit and provides law enforcement at our county parks. You know, crowd control is uh, made a lot easier with those horses. It is amazing. Here we and have it's appropriate the, uh, at the parks to use them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they can also fertilize. You don't want to mess around with a horse, I'll tell you. Not from personal experience, but... Here we have the Hollywood Market celebrating 57 years. 57 years here at Royal Oak. And right behind them is the Royal Oak High School Marching Band performing a holiday me melody. There we are the flags. We'll let these boys and girls show us their stuff as we sit back and enjoy the parade. And here we have the Borgo Sisters of Royal Oak doing a holiday dance ensemble. I watched these uh, young ladies warm up before the parade, and I think you did too. Yes, Pat, I did. They're fantastic, aren't they? They are. I told you I used to be a member of this troupe. Didn't I tell you that? I, I, I remember something vaguely. I have my, uh, my pink uh, sweatshirt at home, but I chose not to wear it today. I'm sure you were front and center, weren't you? These are, of course, the Borgo Sisters uh, School of Dance and Gymnastics. Uh, of course, everyone in Royal Oak knows the Borgo Sisters have been here since uh, 1936. The school was impacted, of course, the lives of four generations of Royal Oakers and people living around here. Uh, the Borgo Sisters are famous in this area for their teaching. They teach ballet, tap, jazz. And today, they're here with us bringing a little holiday cheer. And they got great moves, too. They do. And here's the Royal Oak Restaurant Association, Santa's favorite dining destination. What great chef's hats they're wearing. <laughs> you know, Royal Oak uh, wouldn't be the place that it is without our retailers and our uh, restaurant uh, owners and operators. And there are so many wonderful restaurants in downtown Royal Oak. It's I know I've made it a... Uh, personal challenge to try and get to every one of them and there are only a couple left on my list. I love them all. It's what makes Royal Oak what it, uh, what it has become. You haven't lived until you've come down and enjoyed everything that this great city has to offer. I hear some familiar music coming but before we get there I see in the background the giant jolly holiday chef. And that song is, of course, uh, made famous by Jose Feliciano, Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Navidad. While we have a little background, I'd like to say a couple things about the association. 
led by John Dempster, Mr. Bees, Carmen Young of, the, of uh, O'Toole's, John Karate of the Rock on Third. Did I see Bobby Higgins in there too of Oxford Inn? Yep, I saw him. And uh, Russ Grikirowitz of uh, the In Place. These uh, men and women do a great job. And you know, they not only serve good food, but uh, they raise $100,000 normally for uh, local charities. I also alone. saw Jim Demansky. Jim was in there too, eh? That's real. Well, here we are. The international uh, spice that makes this parade uh, keep getting better. And I see Mr. Brett Talander bringing in the uh, rear on this Canadian flag. This is the... Uh, we have Cana three Canadian attractions in this year's parade. That's true. And the Canadian flag is the first one. There's Mr. Talander there. Canadian flag, the largest Canadian flag. Do you think it has anything to do with the value of the dollar uh, now that we're getting Canadians <laughs> yes. over here? So. <laughs> There's the Canadian Cowgirls on parade. They're an elite rodeo precision drill team from Ontario, led by Terry Jenkins. She's riding Freedom, a six-year-old golden palomino. Yeah. And, uh, Beautiful animals. Are you supposed to ride a horse like that? I don't, I don't know. I, that's what you call tall in the saddle, I guess, right? Yes. <laughs> And clearly, they are very experienced at what they do. Well, this is their debut performance in Royal Oak. Uh, and as you've said, they've won numerous, numerous awards in Canada. And now they're over here. And hopefully, uh, we'll welcome them back uh, again next year. I hope so. They're, uh, they're really fun to watch. Canadian cowgirls. traveled all the way across the river to come and join us here at Royal Oak. Following them, who do Jane we have Jane Adams here? Elementary Brownie Troop 3816. They're dressed as famous, historical, and contemporary women of the world. They're, of course, saluting our international partnership with Canada this morning. Look at that. They look, uh, they put a lot of energy into that. This isn't part of the Brownie Troop, is it? I think, <laughs> I think this is the Attic Rock and Roll Holiday. Presented Service. by Rocket Printing. The holidays of the 21st century, I guess. Nothing gets me in a holiday spirit quicker than some heavy-duty rock and roll. Some head-banging rock and roll gets you in the spirit, huh? And there's the Daily Tribune banner. Southeast Oakland County's source of daily news. This is the Gift of Life Michigan float. They are, uh, that's the float with the spinning globe, if you can see. Uh, and it reminds us to uh, give the gift of life with organ donations. Accompanied by the gift of life float. It looks like, yes, I think so. That is the Northwood Elementary Girl Scouts. They're dressed as uh, Christmas gifts. Remember these from last year, Pat? Oh, yes, yes. And they they have new gift wrapping this year. They do. Like they, they were meticulously wrapped. They're all so cute. That's the Keller Elementary as well. I think they're joined in their brownie uh, troop. And they're all, of course, dressed like, dressed like little gifts. And I'm sure that's exactly how their parents view them. They are little gifts. You know the great thing about, uh, of course, our city, but this parade is it brings together kids of all ages, Pat. It really does. That's what it's all about, right there. Looking at these guys, the future of our society. Oh, yeah. And a great thing to do on a Saturday morning. Walk down the middle of Washington Avenue, waving to the crowds, wearing your Christmas hat and your Christmas wrapping, and kicking off the Christmas season. Here comes our credit union. That's our credit union. It's also my credit union. Get a little plug in there. Of course. <laughs> I don't know how much money I have over there, but it's my credit union. 
This is, of course, the R Credit Union with multiple locations in Royal Oak. In fact, Pat, I think there's one right here on the parade route. Uh, the major sponsor of today's uh, parade, and we thank them for that, uh, presenting the state's largest award-winning marching band, which is right behind them, coming up. Thanks to the R Credit Union. Look at that. That's a great picture right there. Oh, yeah. That dog looks happy to be here today, doesn't, doesn't he or she? All the excitement in the world. Oh, yes. Look at the little one. Well, you know that was a head turner coming by, don't you? <laughs> Those two look like they're having fun. They're bundled up. Uh, they've got a lot of clothes on there. They fell down. They'd have a rough time getting up, I think. And they're waiting for the Anchor Bay Marching Band. Here they come. I was looking forward to this one. This is the Anchor Bay High School. And of course, they're from New Baltimore. They have over 200 members in the high school marching, uh, the marching tars. Look at that precision. Before they get a little closer, and we're going to give the listeners a chance to listen, they, Pat, uh, in 2006, the Anchor Bay Music Program was named among the top 100 communities. I don't know if you know anything more about these guys than I do. But well, they're one of my favorites, certainly, and I'm happy to see them here at the Holiday Magic Parade. They have received nine consecutive first division ratings of the MSBOA Marching Band Festival. Only nine? Only nine. But this is Hard to first, believe. Well, this is their first year in Royal Oak, so I'm sure they're going to get more awards after today. Let's listen to them play yes. and, and watch their drill team. Thank you for coming to Royal Oak for the first time, and we we'll expect to see you back next year. What a great band! What a great band! And I think I see uh, this is Dale and Thomas uh, Popcorn, one of these sponsors of the uh, presenting the Wizard of Oz. And if you haven't been, what a to, great yeah, flow! That is a great flow. Have you been to the uh, popcorn uh, store yet? Oh you know, yeah, great place. They have great all place. flavors. I urge all of you to go down there and buy as much popcorn as you can possibly eat. I can see the Tin Man sitting on the back. I can see the Scarecrow, the Cowardly Lion. Of course, whenever you think of popcorn, you think of movies, too. And Look at the Cowardly Lion. That's, he's, <laughs> that's quite a nice pose there, I'll tell you. That's complete with corn stalks and everything else. You know, Dale and Thomas, uh, they have a store right here on uh, Main Street. Great, great popcorn. I think the owners are, uh, from what I understand, uh, Detroit's own Isaiah Thomas and Dale Humphrey, a third generation popcorn farmer. And I heard that he was the mayor of Popcorn, Indiana. Oh, look. How did you rate some popcorn? I didn't get any popcorn. I can catch. I'm an outfielder. I was too busy talking. <laughs> oh, and one of my favorites. Oh, yes, the Lancers. The motorized division of the Muslim Shriners. Led by Dave Talbot. This is the Royal Oak Muslim Shrine Lancers, and they are always a treat to have in our parades. It looks like so much fun, but I'm sure it also takes a lot of work to set up these precision routines. These guys don't look like they're having any fun at all, do they? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you know the Shriners as a national organization are dedicated to helping children. And they do a lot of good work. So they're entitled to a little bit of fun, and we love having them. There's some precision driving going around out here, I'll tell you. Could you, you do that? I no. can do that. <laughs> You do see driving like this uh, downtown on the weekends, though, I think, sometimes. And on the Autobahn. And on the Autobahn, yeah, that's true. 
Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. It's always a pleasure to have these guys. And Starbucks Coffee prevents, presents treats on the street. Starbucks. I sampled a couple gallons of their coffee this morning before oh, the parade me too. started. <laughs> oh, I love their caramel macchiatos. And the Redford Township Unicycle Club is right behind them. They are the 2007 North American Gold Award winners. They've been around for quite a while. I think they started this group in seven, 1975. Uh, started out as a group of neighborhood teenagers. And now uh, I think the teenagers have grown up and become moms because they've got moms and dads with them as well. Oh, yes. And also with their kids. It's a good family event. I know that that's exactly what my family would like to do. I think uh, last year I was telling you, I was sharing with you a little bit that I used to do a lot of this when I was younger. Of course, I used to do a lot of things when I was younger. Look at this. That, that's Isn't amazing. Isn't that great? Like a pyramid, their version of a pyramid. You know, it's no surprise, Pat, that uh, looking at these, uh, these people, in 2006 they won the North American Silver Club Parade Riding title and the North American Bronze Club for performance riding. And, and looking at them now, is there any wonder how they won those awards? This has to be much harder than it looks. They make it look easy. But it isn't easy. I know it might be easy for you, Carlo, having experience. Well, I've got, uh, you know, tip-top balance, too. I mean, I, you know. And juggling as well. <laughs> oh, Sometimes and jumping rope. That. That's amazing. That is. They're always a favorite here at the Royal Oak Parade. They are so talented. Look at that. I used to have a bike just like that. I still do. <laughs> What do we have here? This is the uh, Detroit Metropolitan Soapbox Derby. No, that's their that's their van that they all. I don't I don't think the unicyclists can all fit in that van. Do you, Pat? Well, they might double as a clown troop as well <laughs> and stuff the van. That's something I'd like to see. Now we're looking at the Detroit Metropolitan Soapbox Derby float uh, with the truck and award-winning cars. This is a national program, and it's been in existence since 1934. Today, I think we, uh, there's a couple cars with them. And, of course, this is a nonprofit uh, organization. It's open to boys and girls of all ages, uh, between 7 and 18 mainly. But uh, it's a real skill, and there's four divisions of racing, stock, super stock, masters, and super kids. Today, I think we have the super kids with us. A friend of mine used to do this, and I know that he, sp he and his dad spent many, many hours uh, putting their, their cars together, and it was fun to watch. Of course, those they never are, let me touch them. but Those are great-looking cars. They've really done a wonderful job. And it's a good opportunity for a father and son or a father and a daughter or a mother and her child to work on a project together. Now we have the, uh, that was oh, the Arabian... Uh, the Harmony Acres, Arabian Horses on Parade. This is always another uh, holiday uh, magic favorite. The, uh, this group is led by the uh, horse breeder Nancy Harm of uh, Harmony Acres, Arabian Horses. And are they, they are the most highly trained equine parade horses appearing. And they go to about 300 events throughout the state. And they don't just do parade work. They, can, they work with children, too. They're trained to carry uh, children with disabilities. That's presented by the Royal Oak Women's Club, Group 7. And uh, better watch out, Pat. We've got the Cook Sewell Juan Martial Arts School of Royal Oak. And they're wearing their martial arts uniform. And they're doing a great job of spinning those, whatever that weapon is. That's a martial art uh, candy cane stick. They only oh. bring them out during a holiday season. The holiday yes. season, sure. I should have recognized that from the striping. I uh, I learned that from watching a Bruce Lee movie <laughs> one time. So. And we'll be right back after this. All right, sounds good, Pat. Marines 
have delivered Christmas to children in need since 1947. Right, we're back here at the uh, sixth annual Holiday Magic Parade, and boy, are we having fun! I'll tell you, Pat. You can oh, feel yeah. the excitement in the air. Oh, it is exciting, Carlo. And here we have coming up Luther Badman Keith singing the holiday blues to Santa in a horse-drawn wagon. This band is the winner of the no Luther Badman is the winner of the 2007 Detroit Music Award for the Outstanding Blues Songwriter. Well, I hear him coming up behind, but I think what we're looking at right here is the Aqua Salon presents the Royal Oak Style and 12 Dancing Princesses. Oh, yes. Oh, you're exactly right. I know Luther's right behind him. He's coming up pretty soon. He's always another favorite. But right now, I think I see, is that Diana Ross up on that? I, I think so. It certainly looks like her. They are Dancing Princesses. And the Aqua Salon of Royal Oak, uh, Farmington Hills, West Bloomfield. They're saluting the 70s today. Let's hear what they have to offer. Great pink shoes, too. On the side I've got of a the pair float. like that. Oh, that puts you to Christmas. That doesn't look like the Diana Ross I remember, Pat. <laughs> okay. Well, they certainly seem to be having a good time. They are. They are at that. Diana Ross is having a good time. Where's that Dan Ross? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Aqua Salon has always Was been a big Was that Elton John? I think so. You had everybody up there on that one. On the keyboard, yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was uh, that was something to get you in the spirit, wasn't it? That was fun. That was very fun. Very Christmassy too. <laughs> Christmas is have... for everyone. It is, and that's what's beautiful for about Royal holiday Oak. season. Very holiday oriented. Right. <laughs> it's all about celebrating. It's all about the celebrating, and uh, in fact, it is the. It's what makes Royal Oak such a great place. You've got everybody down here. Diana Ross. <laughs> Elton John. Elton John. You got the... Have you seen Elvis? You got the little ones down here. Look at this. Kids of all ages. Oh, having a good time. Oh, eating that popcorn. Eating the popcorn and sitting on their dad's lap there. I'll tell you. Dad's looking like he's having Living fun large. Too. Living large. He's still trying to get over Diana Ross. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> here we have Andy Amos presents... Uh, now we're talking about the Luther... Luther Bad, Bad Man, Man Keith. Keith. Yep. Now, oh, it's clear Keith. that's Luther Bad Man. Sure. There he goes. Always a favorite to have back. Singing the Holiday Blues. And again, he's the winner of the 2007 Detroit Music Award for the Outstanding Blues Songwriter. Congratulations, Luther. That's presented by Andiamo Osteria. And they're saying is what Italian was meant to be. So that's what it means, huh? <laughs> okay, now I know. Great place to eat Italian. I'll tell you. Now we've got the uh, Play Magazine, Michigan, In Play Magazine. All about sports. It's all about the sports. There's a couple uh, sporting events uh, scheduled for today, I think. I don't know. Somewhere down south of the Ohio border, I think. This is put on by the Royal Oak Women's Club, and I see a couple of the, uh, the ladies out there. Now, is there another Diana Ross? Who is that with that black wig on? I can't tell from here. Can you bet? No, but she's having a good time. She she's is. celebrating today the kickoff of the holiday season. Right here on Washington Avenue in Lady downtown at, Royal Oak. The ladies at the Royal Oak Women's Club always have a good time, and they always very big supporters of uh, organizations like this. Here comes Paws, the Tiger's mascot. A pause for the cause. Look at the kid. Look how famous and popular he is, I'll tell you. Who's that walking with, Paws? You know, the Paws was, uh, he's bringing up the uh, 
another section of the float, the uh, Michigan in Play, ma uh, Michigan in Play magazine, I should say. Writer and uh, Detroit Tiger alum Denny McLean is going to be coming up pretty soon. Oh, excellent! Got Paul's little... looks like he's in pretty good shape. I think he's in training. He is. He's. Uh, they've had a good, uh, good season. Getting ready to head to Florida soon. Paws is always great. Always great to see him. He's popular with the kids, too. Very popular. He's going to get mugged out there uh, with all that candy that he's passing out, <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, just look down this, uh, this, this parade route. You can see the millions and millions of people that have come out today to celebrate with us today, Pat. It's amazing. Even more people than before. Would you like to take a guess at how many people are here, Carlo? I think there's far more than the 37,412 that I counted earlier. I think there's oh, yeah. a lot more than that. That's probably up to 37,5 by now. Oh, I would, I would say that you're probably right. And everybody still seems to be having a very good time. The weather at least has cooperated. There's no precipitation, no rain, no snow. That's a, a blessing. Well, you'll recall, remember the motion that we had at the commission table that uh, no rain was allowed till 2.15 today. So Was passed, that, that was your motion? Yeah, it was my it? motion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it passed unanimously, too. But look at the hometown feel that you have looking down this parade route. Just, uh, you can see the Detroit uh, Zoo Tower in the background. And the people just having a blast. I don't know if I'm shivering from the cold or the excitement of, uh, oh, yeah. of, the, of the season. Both, I'm sure. And you can see we've got some Christmas lights up here on the trees on Washington. We do. We have the Christmas tree lighting coming up in about a week and a half, I think. Yep. It's always one of my favorites. That'll be another big event. There's lots of shopping at the farmer's market and in all of downtown Royal Oak. Today's a good day to come out. You can find one-of-a-kind gifts at one-of-a-kind shops. Don't waste your time going to the mall where it's busy and parking's a hassle. Come down to downtown Royal Oak and check out all of our uh, wonderful, unique shopping. And here's something you're not going to see at the mall. I think if I'm if I'm right, this is a horse-drawn carriage with uh, Denny McLean. Oh wow, Denny McLean, the famous Denny McLean from 1968. Yes, that's him. I see him. Yes, of course. He you're... won 31 games, and he was a world in the World Series 1968 championship Tigers. He's a Cy Young Award winner, and he was MVP and Pitcher of the Year. And is that Judge Sawicki sitting with him? Yes, yes, it is. It is. <laughs> that's Judge Sawicki. Judge Sawicki had a 1968 season that was pretty remarkable too, didn't he? I, <laughs> I think he just missed out on the Cy Young Award by one or two votes, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Look at the judge, he's having a good time with Denny there. And, and uh, what a great hometown feel you have with this. With this How parade. wonderful, yes. Last year, Milt Wilcox, this year, Denny McLean. Denny McLean was the first pitcher to win 30 games since Dizzy Dean. Wow. Dizzy I Dean don't remember a, Dizzy, but. I was gonna say that was before your time. And Pat, here we have the Detroit Free Press, uh, the MotorCityMoms.com. It's a gathering place for local moms. I, I knew you were going to ask me what that was, so I'm going to tell you. It was a gathering place for local moms to talk online. And the editor, Kristen Shamus. I urge you to go check it out, MotorCityMoms.com, for the latest topical issues, family-friendly events, and more. Here comes the children's train with conductor Bernie Stevens. It's signaling to everyone that Santa is not far behind. We've got Girl Scouts dressed in holiday ponchos. Those girls are from Jane Adams Elementary. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, of course. You know, I you've mentioned it. When you see this train, I don't think the old uh, Jolly St. Nick is far behind. You can feel the excitement in the air. <laughs> Look at the girls, look like they're having fun. Here comes Hagopian Rugs and Cleaning Service with their Magic Genie. He looks pretty magic to me. And when they take a stain out of your carpet, it's always magic. <laughs> That's true. Carrying the banner, I think, uh, it was Mercedes Wolf and Ann, uh, Ann Welsh. And of course, Hagopian 
they don't care how dirty dirty is but they make that's the saying i can't remember they just make sure it's clean when they leave they do a great up. work great work and they're good not only for the wall-to-wall carpeting but they do a fine job on area rugs as well we've had them over to our house a few times me too (laughs) well i have have dogs yes (laughs) they do a great job by the way look at these little two these two here they look like they're having a good time big brother is anyway yes little sister looks like she's a little cold of course brother's upstaging of course that's what boys are for You know, Pat, I hear off in the distance, I hear the region's favorite rock and roll moms. The Candy Band. Of course, that's what we're referring to, the Candy Band. Um, And uh, they are sponsored by the uh, Hagopian Rug Cleaning. Well, you know, the Candy Band, they've all named themselves after particular candies. There's Almond Joy, there's Kit Kat, there's Starburst, and there's Skittles. And certainly the... uh, uh, one of the ladies who's on this is a neighbor of mine, so I've had ample opportunity. I've got their CDs. They started this band because they didn't want their children, they wanted their children to have the ability to listen to updated versions of children's fairy tales and children's songs. Let's take a minute and listen to them because it'll be hard not to. I think they are the rockin'est moms, and I think today they're going to present us with I want a big fat cookie for Christmas. Let's let let's listen. Right behind them, we have another group of uh, young ladies. Of course, I'm referring to the Royal Red Hoots, Royal Oak Society of Red Hat Ladies. Pat, you know a little oh, bit yes. about these. Oh, ladies. yes. These are ladies over 50 who are dedicated to having fun. The Red Hat Society has been around nationally for quite a while, um, and they always seem to be having a very, very good time. Are they playing their kazoos? Not yet. I don't think they want to upstage the uh, candy band. But these ladies always look like they're having a good time. In fact, that's their uh, that's the reason to get together is to have a good time and wear red hats. You know, they also allow women under 50 to join, and those women wear pink hats. All right, I think we're going to take a quick break right now, Pat. It's breaking the action, and we're going to... All right. Let's don't be gone too long, because we've got one of my favorites coming up. Me too. Let's hurry back. Oh, Carlo, there they are. The award-winning Cass Technical High School Band on their way to the Orange Bowl. They're going to the Orange Bowl this year, huh? They're going to the Orange Bowl. I wish I was going with them. (laughs) Maybe we can just sneak in there and... We can go down there with them. This uh, mind-blowing and jaw-dropping performance by this award-winning marching band from Detroit. This is their second year here with us, Pat, and I'm hoping that they'll make it a third and a fourth and a fifth. And Me too. They're sponsored by National City, and if I could spin like they would, I'd be trying out for the drill team. This is always a toe-tapper here, and they are back by popular demand. In fact, I think uh, St. Nicholas said... Uh, if they're not here, he's not going to come to the parade. They don't march, Carlo. They swagger. <laughs> Let's listen to them and see what we can uh, get back in the spirit here. Toe tapper.
can't help but get in the Christmas spirit when you, when you listen to that. They are magnificent. I stand in awe. What a great performance. So you got a nice, beautiful high school this year, too. A brand new one. Brand new high school. Pat, here we are. Yeah, the Royal Oak Kiwanis, uh, Kiwanis Club. The Royal Oak Kiwanis Club, of course, serves the children of the world. It supports this parade with uh, banner carriers and parade marshals. And They're changing the world through service to children. Do you know what Kiwanis means? No, I don't. It means we share our talents. And that's exactly what they do, I'll tell you. An exceptional group. They've been active here in Royal Oak and of course all over the world, but the Royal Oak uh, chapter has been very, very active. Everybody looks like they're still having fun. Pat, I don't think we've lost anybody. I don't think so either, Carlo. And of course, you know who these little kids are waiting for, don't you? Oh yeah, the, the big man himself, I'm sure. He's gotta be down there somewhere, I, I'm pretty sure. In fact, I thought I saw him, uh, I may have seen him this morning, I'm not sure. I don't know if he's here yet. I think he's a very busy man around this time of year and I'm, and I'm willing to wait for him. But I'm honored, and I'm sure you are too, is that this is the first official stop. Yes. First official stop, he comes to Royal Oak first. I think it's in his contract. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's understandable. We should probably take a minute, Carlo, to thank all the volunteers who've helped make uh, this parade and this broadcast possible? Without the volunteers, this uh, this parade is not possible. I wish I were a volunteer, but I'm being paid for this, so... You're getting paid? <laughs> you oh, know okay. I'm not. You know I'm not. <laughs> but I, could, I had to take an opportunity to mention that. Well, we could renegotiate our contract for next year when we do this, Pat. Okay. This is could. so much fun. I, I think I'd be willing to pay them to do this. That was uh, Pat Capello talking, not me. We're going to renegotiate double our salary for next year. No, I agree, though. This is uh, one of the things that I look forward to every single year, and I love it. It gives us a chance to mingle with our neighbors. It gives our neighbors a chance to be part of a wonderful parade, and it gives everybody in Royal Oak the opportunity to come out and see Santa on his first stop and to check out all the unique places in downtown Royal Oak. And there are a huge number of uh, places down here and hopefully they'll be, they'll be bombarded with customers after the parade. Of course, they're gonna be open uh, for the rest of the afternoon. And uh, after the parade, we're gonna, I think Santa Claus is gonna go over to Luigi's place, the Sangria. Yes, to Sangria, where you can have brunch with Santa. So all of these people here are going to go over and uh, ask Santa Claus for a little Christmas surprise. I just can't get over the hometown feel you have when you look down Washington Avenue. How wonderful it is. So many people. I think they're now four and five deep in many locations. Yeah. They are in front of us. <laughs> all eyes are facing south down Washington, trying to find a glimpse of uh, the big guy himself. Wave to the camera, sweetheart. Yay! <laughs> Everybody's having a good time. Everybody is. Even Dad there. Look at Dad. Looks like he's looking for Santa Claus, too. They all look like they're very warm. They dress for the occasion. And they've got a pretty comfortable spot with a good view. All right, on that note, Pat, let's take a quick break. Okay. parade. We've had a little break in the action while we're waiting for the next float. And I think it's going to be a good one. It's worth waiting for. I think it's the miracles. You know, Pat, I've seen a lot of toes tapping and I've seen people moving their hips a little bit. Uh, and are you uh, kind of getting an idea what the theme of this year's uh, Holiday Magic Parade is? I think it's Motown, Carlo. I think it's Motown. We've had Diana Ross and uh, I'm hearing some very, very familiar music uh, on the south side of Washington here. Right, the Miracles on Washington. They're coming up and uh, here we go, I'll tell you. Pat, this is the high point, the second high point. Of course, uh, St. Nick is the high point 
But uh, we are very honored to have the uh, Motor City Casino and Hotel sponsored uh, Miracles on Washington Avenue. And they're being accompanied by the Casino Hotel Vibe Dancers. You know, uh, Pat, this, these are the original Miracles led by, of course, Bobby Rogers. Uh, the original Miracles led by Bobby Rogers are legend, as you know. Um, and uh, this, we're just very, very, very honored to have them with us today. Of course, we know the four Miracles are Bobby Rogers, Dave Finley, T. Turner, and uh, Mark Scott on lead vocal. Here we go. Miracles are introduced by Paul Lucretio, Motor City Casino. Here come the Vibe Girls. Yes, and that famous song, Love Machine. You remember love that machine. from your college days? Yes, in fact, that was the Love Machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see the Vibe Dancers on the sign. All right, let's listen to these guys get in the spirit. Nothing like vibe dancers to get you in the Christmas spirit, Pat. I used to do that, Carlo, but I did, but it didn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, of course, the Motor City Casino uh, Hotel making their Mirac Miracles debut, debut, Pat, for the Royal Oak uh, City uh, Parade here today. As you know, the Miracles had numerous hits, and that was the song, the 1972 hit, Love Machine. And we thank them for coming. It was a big honor to have them. Of course, they're going to be over at uh, Sangria's right after the parade uh, signing autographs. We urge everyone to come down and participate. I think we've started a new tradition. be a great afternoon over there. And here come the Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts from... It was uh, Troop 3049 from... I think it was Oakland Elementary. Yep, I think you're right. Santa's Elves... Uh, Look at the look at the little elves. Oh, and everybody's smiling and having a good time. So they're following the vibe dancers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and here we come. I think those were the elves walking uh, brownie troops from Shrine, yep. Keller, Oak Ridge Elementaries, right here in Royal Oak. And this is Village Chrysler Jeep coming up, presenting Santa and his love machine. And carrying that banner, we have two wonderful Royal Oak Women's Club members, Jean Sarnacki and Sandy Wilkins. Wilkins. Yes, of course. Having a good time. Merry to you Christmas too. Christmas to you guys. Those are two ladies that have been very, very involved with uh, our city for quite some time. Oh yes, their, their list of accomplishments is almost endless, and I'm sure they have plenty more uh, projects ready to go. Well, you know, the time is almost here, Pat, when you get to see firsthand Santa's first stop. Oh yes, Royal and Oak. here he is. I can feel is. the anticipation mounting. Here he comes in his 2008 limited edition Chrysler Sebring convertible. And you know, that's built right, uh, right around Rudolph. the corner. That's, Called that's Rudolph. Right. It's built right around the corner in Sterling Heights, I think. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Santa Claus, making his first stop right here in Royal Oak. He looks pretty relaxed, doesn't he? He must have uh, gotten a, a really good year of work out of his elves, and he looks like he's all ready for the holiday season. And he's been working out, too, and of course, that's Santa and Mrs. Claus in their own love machine. And now they're heading over to Sangria's. And we all know that uh, Sangria's is right here around the corner at 4th and Lafayette. But for all those people watching uh, from across the continent, uh, Sangria's has uh, been a keystone of this downtown area for quite some time. Luigi Guerra, the proprietor. Great place to have lunch, get an autograph or two, listen to some music, visit with Santa. Santa's going to be Full there afternoon. today from 11 to 1. 
It's going to be a full house. In fact, Pat, uh, we may just head over to Luigi's place. All right. I and think we should. Participate in the activities. But right now, I think looks like the crowd is uh, wandering over to the Royal Oak Theater because I think the Miracles are going to be there and they're going to perform a few of their other hits. Well, and if I'm not mistaken, in front of the Royal Oak Music Theater, the mayor will be on hand to present the key to the city. That's true. That's true. So, I have a key, and you do too, but he's going to present everyone else with a key, right? Yes, theirs will actually work, yeah. unlike ours. <laughs> they said mine was going to work, but I've tried, and it's never worked before. I but think I've, I think we might be getting the high sign. Yes, they're trying to get rid of us, I think. <laughs> Pat, I've had a great time again Me too. this year. I hope we can do this again next year. Fun doing it, Carla. as much fun the next 10 years as we have the last two years, and this parade's going to continue to get bigger and more popular, Pat. And remember that if you weren't able to be here today, there's going to be a replay of this event um, the whole month of December on WROK, the city's cable access channel. That's true. That's true. And I've, uh, once again, I've had a blast. And you know what? It's just starting to rain now. I think, uh, did we did we make that motion? Close enough to 2 o'clock for me. Close as long enough as for the, government work. Huh? That's close enough, yes. So um, thank. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out, all the volunteers, certainly Peggy Goodwin for putting on such a wonderful event, and everyone who participated or watched this parade. It was a great one this year. Look forward to many more. And all of our neighbors and the volunteers that made this parade possible, Thank you, and we'll see you next year, Pat.